welcome to this weekly hope and healing live stream. It's such a joy to meet you and to spend this time together. Tonight, I have a special guest that I'm sure you will like her so much. She is a lady on fire, full of, the, of God's presence and uh, the anointing of God. And if tonight you need anything, you need a miracle from God, a healing touch or deliverance, this is the day for your salvation. So open yourself to this wonderful God. The Hope and Healing Weekly live stream is not a religious show. It's just about bringing you to turn your eyes and to turn your faith to the one who created you in his image. And his name is God, Jesus. He loves you so much uh, and he cares about you, uh, not just for your spiritual life, but for all your life. Uh, and that's the reason we have this show tonight. Uh, so we're going to share a few good news, uh, testimonies, but also we're going to pray for the sick. So if you are sick, expect God's touch tonight. But also, uh, the good news is not to keep the things for ourselves, is to share, is to spread. So tonight, if you are watching through the social medias, Facebook or YouTube, just share the post. So paste the link with YouTube, share it through WhatsApp or whatever you are using, send it to your neighbor, your families, your friends, so that they can not only hear the good news, but they can experience the good news, the gospel, which will be a life-changing experience. So again, welcome for this weekly Hope and Healing. I see many people are watching from different countries, different places. I always like so much when you put on the chat where you are watching from so we can just acknowledge uh, the country and the place and we can just say you hi that will be such a blessing before i introduce you to the guest speaker of tonight uh, i will propose you uh, a wonderful gospel song the song is called only help uh, sorry stand up from the choir session with stephen mcwerther uh, you're going to see it's full of life, full of joy, and that's the gospel. It's the energy from heaven, and it will invade your house tonight. So open yourself to the Holy Spirit, to God's presence, and uh, receive this joy coming from heaven. Let's listen. I've been through, through so much, Lord, but I've never known something you couldn't restore. After all, all I have seen. So good to me
Welcome back to this life, uh, weekly hope and healing. Tonight, we know that God is going to touch you as we are going to share good news, but also to pray for the sick. So welcome to all of you. I'm very grateful for those who take the time to uh, write a few things in the chat where you are from. So I want really to say a big thanks and especially to welcome Oliver from Oklahoma, USA. God bless you. Svitlana from Ukraine. I was there in December. It was fantastic at the indoor stadium. We saw God's glory. By the way, uh, we just broadcast that to my YouTube channel. Um, now you are following on IHM, the healing ministries. But uh, if you want to see what God has done in Ukraine, go to my YouTube channel, Jean-Luc Traxel Ministries, and you will like it. And also, by the way, yesterday night, I released a prophetic message for this new year, 2022. Don't miss it. It's just amazing what the Lord is saying, and it will boost you. It will give you energy. So go to my YouTube channel, Jean-Luc Traxel Ministries, and uh, you will find the prophetic message, or also like this broadcast from the indoor stadium in Ukraine. Uh, welcome to Yojan from France. I know many people are asking, uh, is it in French? So let me say to the French people, ceux qui sont francophones, ce soir c'est en anglais, désolé pour ceci. J'ai eu hier soir une émission, n'hésitez pas à manquer le message prophétique que j'ai donné, allez sur ma chaîne YouTube ou simplement regardez sur les réseaux sociaux. Nous avons différentes rencontres pour vous, les francophones, et on vous aime tout plein. So, welcome to all of you. Uh, greetings from uh, Jesus Lept Ansbach. I probably is the name of the YouTube things, but uh, greetings from Germany. God bless you. Uh, Diana from New Zealand. That's far away. May the Lord bless you abundantly. You need a miracle. We're going to pray for you tonight, expecting this miracle. Uh, again, people are writing in French. I'm sorry for that. Uh, welcome, Lois uh, from Brussels, Suzanne from France, Marco from Denmark, Anita from Budapest. Uh, praise the Lord, Michelle from the US, uh, Mislia from Norfolk, UK. God bless you. Uh, people are watching from Canada, GK from Canada, Violet from France, uh, Daniel from the UK. May the Lord bless you. And uh, it's still coming. So may the Lord bless you. I know so also some Swiss people are watching. So uh, that's amazing to see you all. Tonight, it's a privilege and a joy to have a special guest. Let me just read uh, the bio to introduce her to you. Uh, Isabella Bodini Waters, a missionary born in Brazil. Her heart's desire is to see a great mission movement pouring out of her country in 2000. 
to 11, she left everything behind, including her job as physiotherapist, uh, for which she has a degree and moved to Hawaii to do her mission school at the YOM base in Kona. For eight years, she was living there as well as traveling the world and tra training young people in missions. Uh, in January 20, uh, sorry, 2018, she moved back to Brazil to start leading a mission school in partnership with the Dynamis movement. For three years, she helped pioneer this movement mission work. Recently, she and her husband, James, a young entrepreneur who also led a worship and prayer movement in the UK, moved to the UK, and Isabella became a mother. Her heart is to see revival and a great move of God in Europe. Uh, I want to welcome very warmly my friend Isabella. Hello, Isabella. Hi, thank you so much, Jean-Luc. Welcome for this life, hope and healing. How are you doing, Isabella? Hi, I'm doing super well. Um, yeah, it's just a joy to be here and really excited to see what God's going to do. Well, we can't wait to hear what the Lord put in your heart. But just one more question is uh, you became a mother as it is written. And we've seen that on the social media. Even just before we were at the school, we saw this beautiful face of the baby Elijah. Uh, how is it to be a mother? Uh, it's amazing. I am loving it. I really do. I feel like I have real time revelations of God's love and um, what it really means is sacrificial love of <laughs> thinking of others before you because when you become a mother that's what you do and um, Elijah is such a joy and delight he's such a happy baby and my life has changed so much but I every time I look at him it's just so worth it well, beautiful. Please give our love to him and also to your husband, who is a friend of us as well. Uh, we love you all, and it's a privilege to have you with us tonight. Uh, Isa, um, I know you carry something special for this generation, and I would love that you release this message of hope, or what you carry, or what you heard from the Lord for those who are watching tonight. Uh, Yes, I do. I do have so much hope for our generation. Like, it's like, it is, um, I, I was listening to you speaking a bit earlier, and it's crazy to think that January is already gone, and we're ready straight in into this new year. And um, really thinking of when we see the course of the world, like where things are going, it, of course, we have hope, we have Jesus, and I'm going to talk about this, but things are not really getting any better, let's say, you know, like when you look at everything that is happening and COVID still around and all of that. But then when you look at Jesus and what he's thinking and what he's saying, he is looking at the world and he's like, the harvest is ripe, you know, like he is looking at us and saying like, there is hope. I still have a plan. Things have not fallen out of my control. I'm still like, um, I love you. I love my people. I have a redemption, redemptive plan for um, for the world, and you are part of it. So my heart is really um, lately has been so stirred to see the young people, especially Gen Z. If you were in here and you were Gen Z, to really taking hold of the fullness of what God called you to be. Because I believe this last generation, which is the young people, the youth, of course, we honor all the generations, but I really believe they're going to see crazy things because we believe as the dark get dark, dark get more dark, they get darker, and the, the, the light of Jesus will shine even brightly. I really believe. And those who stand firm, like this song, it was so good, like, I will stand firm. I will um, stand in firm in Jesus. And those who stand firm will see miracles, God move, crazy things in these days, I do believe. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. Uh, but Isa, tonight, I know that some people who are watching, they are coming from different backgrounds and different religions, and even some people are atheists. Uh, 
and you are speaking about God, about Jesus, uh, uh, are you sure that he is real and uh, alive? Yes, I, I am. I am. I've been like um, a little bit of my story. I've really, um, my encounter with Jesus when I was 21 years old, I was really questioning what is my purpose? I'm living life, going through the emotions going out, spending all my money, partying. Like I had no purpose and I questioned God. I'm like, if you are real, please show me. Like I need a sign. And um, I had my first encounter with the love of Jesus. He came in a vision to me and held my hand and told me that he was going to be with me always. And since that time, I really feel like he's with me. He's more than a religion. He's more than just... Um, going to church he is my best friend he's my savior he's my lord and um my life that was like no purpose i didn't know where it was going now i have a purpose now i know i'm gonna see jesus now i have joy and grace and strength when things are hard he gives it to me and um and then i know i'm gonna be forever with him in eternity so there's so much more to say but well, that's, uh, when you are speaking, we can see that something is shining on your face and uh, you have the joy. That's fantastic. Uh, but uh, many people are asking today, why Jesus and not uh, uh, Buddha or any kind of other gods? Or maybe there is no gods. Why do you say that Jesus is the life? I say Jesus is the life like I he was to me and to my life, like, I believe that God, the God that created everything, he saw that the world was lost. There is no hope. There is sin. There is like, we all know we do bad things. Even if we try to do good things, there is something that, that our nature is bad. It's the sin in our lives. And the only way that we can get freedom from our sin or from bad stuff we do is that accepting that Jesus came and died for us. And then, like I was teaching earlier, there are two things that come with accepting Jesus as your Savior. The first one, you live in this life with freedom. And he is, He, like I said, he was personal to me. He's my best friend. He's always there for me. I can talk to him. I feel his presence. He's not a God that is far away and I can never talk to him or never feel him. He's always there for me. And also there is a promise that when we finish in this life, we're going to be with him forever. And there is no other God that promised this, that it gives you full freedom and, and joy and fullness of life now. And then promise to be in eternity with you. And not only promise, but he came and gave his life. He lived here on earth, didn't sin didn't do anything wrong, gave his life in a really bad sacrificial life, like death and raised again to show that he overcame death so we can have access to him. Thanks for sharing that. That's amazing. And by the way, I want to welcome all those who just tune in to this weekly uh, Life, Hope and Healing. Every week I'm doing that with different speakers. Also, we have miracles and healing services. Just be sure to go to the social media to find out all the information. Also, I want to say something beside this uh, live stream. Uh, I'm also writing. Uh, during this pandemic, God spoke to me, say that I want to release hope to this generation. And the Lord said, I want that you write. And uh, so I obey. I was not writing before. And uh, I wrote a book. I have a book in French and has been just translated now in English behind the veil of a miracle. You can find out that to Amazon or different uh, uh, bookstore. But the main thing is every week I'm writing this hope and inspiration. So I download things from heaven, which is positive, energetic, full of the vitamin that we need for our daily life. 
not only just for the spiritual life, but for everything that we need. And it's very short, dynamic with a quote, even a song connected to the theme that I'm writing. So be sure to go to my website, jeanlucetraxel.org, and I will send it to you for free every week. So be sure to go to this website. We were just talking about Jesus and how Jesus is amazing. Is a there are some people tonight uh, or those who are watching also the next days on YouTube. Uh, by the way, just subscribe to the YouTube channel of IHM or my YouTube channel, Jean-Luc Traxel Ministries, uh, where the broadcast is not tonight on this, uh, on this platform. Um, how, Isabel, can the people receive Jesus? Uh, how can they be saved? Yeah, it's, it's really simple and it's something I love sharing. Um, some people believe that you have to do so many things to be saved or to go to heaven. And the Bible actually said, we believe what the Bible says, that if you confess Jesus with your mouth and believe with your heart, you, are, you shall be saved. So you need to confess and believe that Jesus, the Son of God, came and died for you and gave his life for you and raised again and if you believe that and if you confess that you can be saved and you can live with him in eternity that seems very simple we heard so many other way to do it but what is i say it is the truth i experience it myself and actually every day thousands upon thousands of people around the world experience that and tonight it's your night to get saved by this wonderful jesus isa would you help the people who are watching to give their life to jesus and to experience this greatest miracle called to be born again yes of course this is the best this is the best choice like i say the gospel the story of jesus coming to die for you it's the good news if you receive it you're gonna be saved and be with jesus forever so i'm gonna lead you into the prayer and as i talk here you can in your home do this prayer do this prayer and repeat after me and like i said it's really simple as believing Jesus came and died to take upon him his, all of your sins. And then he raised again. And then when he raised again, he resurrected. And believing on that, all of your sin goes upon Jesus. And it's gone of your life. And you have a new life. And you have eternal life now. And like I said, you can today experience Jesus and also be with him forever and it's the hope like John Luke was saying it's the only hope that can actually keep us alive now with all the, the hard things that are happening so I'm going to do this prayer and then you repeat after me is that okay fantastic so if you want to just put your hand over your heart or close your eyes or even keep your eyes open it's fine I'm going to keep my open so you can see me just repeat after me, Jesus, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. I receive and believe that you died for me. And I am forgiven from all of my sins. And if you actually believe that, say with your heart, I believe it, Jesus, I believe you died for me. And I receive forgiveness and I receive you as my Lord and Savior. And I believe I will live eternally with you in Jesus name. Amen. Amen and amen. If you've done this prayer, we release the power of God over you yes. that you can be born again in Jesus name. We break every darkness over your life and your family. We break every curses and we set you free in Jesus' name. Receive this eternal life. Receive his forgiveness, his peace, his joy. Everything that he is, receive it in Jesus' name. If you've done this prayer, be sure to go to our website uh, and to go to the place to know Jesus. We want to send you for free a booklet explaining the prayer you've done. And we want also to help you to 
go and to grow with Jesus. Uh, it's not just to do a prayer, but it's really a journey and the Lord is with you. So be sure to find a Bible because the Bible is God's word willing to speak to you daily. So find a Bible in a bookstore or even you can download for free to Bible.com. Also find a local community. Uh, there are many around the world. It's not just one denomination. It's different, but find a community where they are alive, preaching the gospel, praying for the sick, full of the Holy Spirit. And if you need help, of course, you can contact us. And finally, I propose you to go to alpha.org. It's just a fantastic training short course that has been done in the unity of Christian of the Christians. It's done by the Anglican, but also with the Catholic, the Protestant, the Evangelical. They are not promoting their church churches, but they are just willing to help you to grow and to walk with Jesus. So thank you for having done that. Please contact us. You can call also our prayer line. We are ready to pray for you and uh, just to spend time with you to help you to grow with Jesus. Uh, right now we are going to pray for the sick. Uh, I don't know if Gabriel who is uh, managing all the things behind the scene, if he can just put the advertisement of this International Association of Healing uh, Ministries who organize uh, the, this year face-to-face -face the Healing Presence Conference. Uh, I don't know, Gabrielle, if we can just pass that before we pray for the sick. Well, welcome back to this live uh, Hope and Healing. It's a weekly show where I have a guest tonight. I'm with Isa, uh, who is from Brazil, but living in the UK. And she just shared amazing things uh, regarding Jesus. Uh, we are willing now to pray for the sick. Isa, I know you have seen many healings and miracles. Why tonight, or can you help the people uh, to get their miracles as we're going to pray for them? Yes, yes. My heart was burning with the testimony as you're talking. I need to share because I just heard this testimony uh, last week. So um, we have a friend and I know she's probably she is OK for me like to share this this um, this testimony because she loves Jesus and she wants to share with a lot of people what Jesus has done for her. She actually got COVID two years ago when everything started. And um, she never reco recovered from COVID. She had something that they call long COVID. It's like a fatigue and a disease that you never get recovered from after you're having COVID. And she had that for 18 months. She was in bed. I saw her last July. She, she would talk to us a little bit and she had to go straight to bed. She was really tired. She couldn't eat much. She was really fatigued. And and she was like that for 18 months and God was like speaking to her. She loves Jesus and she's like believing that God would heal her. And then I'm going to sum up because it was not an instant healing, uh, her case. God does that, but her case was like steps of faith. And she had some steps of faith and God uh, completely healed her. And I saw her last Saturday. She was able to talk. She was happy. We had dinner together. And she was just um, exalting God and glorified Jesus because she believed and God healed her yeah. body. She's completely go like um, healed right now, feeling super full of the energy, doesn't get tired anymore and can eat everything. And it's just like, I just want to glorify Jesus because he healed this friend and he's so good. He can heal everyone. And if you're watching that too, um, I believe he wants to heal people tonight. That's right. We really believe that God will touch you in a few minutes. So 
only believe. I want to say a big thanks for all those who are writing us, sending testimonies. It's so important not to keep to yourself what God has done for you. If uh, during the past show or tonight uh, you have been touched by God, please send your testimonies to healing-ministries.org. Uh, we want it will encourage us, but most important, uh, we want to share that to others who are expecting their miracles uh, and again i said big thanks for all those who are taking times uh, personally i post on my social media instagram or facebook uh, every week three minimum three testimonies of people getting healed i see every day almost every day people getting healed uh, and that's the testimony we just put it today so it's very fresh uh, let me read it uh, uh, I had been suffering from head pain for several years. It was unbearable. A scan had revealed cervical arthritis. Uh, during the miracles and healing evening, we do have that every, every month. Uh, and actually, the, the next one, let me just read. Uh, um, it will be, well, we have that every week, but the global one is the 19th of March. Uh, and uh, you will be blessed. But go to the social media. You will find all out uh, when we have this meeting. So during one of these healing services, like tonight, uh, when I put my hands on my head, as the speaker asked, I felt a relief. Since then, I have been pain-free. That's a miracle. And God yes. is the God of miracle. I have another uh, testimony. That's a powerful one also. I just posted it uh, uh, this week as well. Having been blind for years, it's a declared handicapped by the doctor. During the miracles and healing evening, I had like little electric, electric shocks in my eyes. I'm beginning to see again and thanks God for this miracle. Praise the Lord. If you have eyes problem, the Lord will touch you. Let me read this uh, uh, last thing. Uh, uh, because there is much more. You just go to Instagram, you go to my Instagram or social or Facebook. Uh, I asked for the healing prayer at, at a meeting like tonight. Uh, I was suffering from an arthritic and locked knee. A warmth came over me and the pain gradually left. My knee unlocked and I thank God for this healing. Praise the Lord. It's just fantastic. Just few testimonies that we read, but it's hundreds of people getting healed as he's going to heal you tonight. Uh, Isa, would you agree to start to pray for the sick? I will follow and we will minister a while for all these people who are expecting healings for themselves tonight. Uh, yes, let's go. I really am excited. I believe Jesus is here and he's going to heal you. Yes, Jesus, we just um, we just ask you to come and ministry, whatever people are watching right now. We believe you are powerful. Your power will, will touch people and heal uh, diseases, sicknesses today, God. We believe that um, you taught us and you gave us authority to pray for all the sickness of the sick people. And it's your joy. It's your um uh, through your love, you want to heal people tonight. So I, I pray and declare that whatever there is this, a pain or whatever there is a disease, that you would just come in and touch people with your power, with heaven coming and invading through the computer, through the sound of my voice. I believe the Holy Spirit will release the power to heal any disease, pain in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We pray for that. Uh, we pray for Diana. We need a miracle, healing, emotional and physical pain. Lord, touch Diana. We command every curse to be broken. Yes. We release the power of the Holy Spirit over you, Diana. Receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, visit her chronic spinal vertebra, scoliosis. Uh, 
and nerve damage. We pray for a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray for those who are watching also suffering from COVID. We, re we heard this testimony. So we release the power of God over you in Jesus' name. We pray for Suzanne who has this heart tinnitus and hyperacusis and Lyme disease. Touch her in Jesus' name. We release the power of the Holy Spirit. I don't know, uh, Isa, if you have some word of knowledge or things that you see or feel that the Lord is willing to do. Yes, I, I, I was feeling the Lyme disease and the fatigue. I just want to pray and declare for completely healing of your muscles, of your body, of your energy coming back into your body, into, um, into you. Like, and, and I really pray and believe that God wants to heal Lyme's disease um, and fatigue. Like if you're tired yeah. always, the tiredness will be lifted up. In Jesus' name, I pray the energy of the Holy Spirit will touch you and That's heal right. your body. And all the, the tiredness will be gone and fatigue be gone. We speak fatigue be gone in Jesus' name. We pray for energy. We pray for life. We pray for the breath of God to come into you and breathe new life and energy. And, and then, um, yeah, in Jesus' name, I pray. In Jesus' name, we pray for the mom of Svit Svitlana who is very sick, has fever and a husky voice. Uh, Lord, we command these viruses to leave the body of the mom, visit her where she is in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray, Lord Jesus, for the daughter of Yojan, visit her, touch her, set her free from all these uh, uh, things that she is suffering from. In Jesus' name, we pray for the wife of Daniel, who has hearing problem. Touch this here in Jesus' name. We command the deaf spirit to live. We release the power of God to the nerves, the muscles, all the eardrums as well. Touch this wife in Jesus' name. Oh God, we pray, Lord, for Elizabeth. Visit Lois from this breast tumor. Uh, Isa, there are many people who are watching who are suffering from incurable disease. And we know mm. that God can heal the incurable disease. Yes. Can you pray for them? Yes, yes, God. There is no sickness or disease too hard for you, Jesus. There is nothing impossible for you. We pray the, the God of the impossible. We pray and release faith for everyone who is watching, faith for you to grab hold of your miracle for any incurable disease that the doctor says that will never be a cure. We believe and pray for, in Jesus' name, name for lung cancer to be um, completely healed. In Jesus' name, we believe and we pray for any type of diabetes. In Jesus' name, be healed from diabetes. We pray for you, Anthony that you're going to be mm. um, set free and, and healed from diabetes in Jesus' name. From We command your cells and, and all of your blood to be in alignment with heaven in Jesus' name. We believe for completely he healing of diabetes, for healing of any cancer. If you have cancer, if you're believing for someone in your family with cancer, we pray that the release of the power of God to heal in Jesus' name be released and high blood pressure as well. Mm -hmm. It's nothing, it's too small or too big for God to heal. He can heal high blood pressure in Jesus' name. We pray for, um, for any broken uh, bone or uh, the jaw that is broken mm -hmm. right now that it's out of place. We command to come into alignment, into back into place, in Jesus' name, touch. Um, I also saw um, God touching someone with dizziness and vertigo. If it's you, I pray that you receive your healing, that you put your hand over your, your both of your ears like that in your head, and you say, I'm healed, I receive healing. Um, um, the, the, the vertical will go, go back into normal. There is no more dizziness, no more um, uh, sight that it's out of place. We just pray in Jesus' name 
be healed and your balance coming back into place and God touching your very to go in Jesus name Amen and amen. I propose you that you put your hands in the place where you are sick. And as you put your own hands on your own body, we pray in the name of Jesus. As the Bible says, we shall lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover. Right now, as a point of contact, as they are touching the place where they are sick, we pray, Lord God, that you can release your healing power to heal these precious people. In the name of Jesus, I command every sickness, every disease to quit the body of these precious yes. people. In Jesus' name, I command every inflammation to stop. I pray for healing of all kinds of disease. Through the stripes of Jesus, there is now healing. Receive your healing. Be free from headache. Be free and release from every pain in the belly. I command the heart to be healed, the legs to be healed, the nerves to be touched. Mm -hmm. the, the Holy Ghost, I command every lungs, livers, stomach, uh, Toes. There is somebody who is just healed from the wrist. Receive your healing right now in Jesus' name. Somebody who has a trouble with the feet as well is touched by the power of the Holy Spirit right now. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. We break every curse and release the power of the Holy Spirit. Be healed and be whole in Jesus' name. I don't know, Isa, if you still have a word before we close this uh, live stream. I just really felt the only thing I felt is to pray also for people with anxiety and fear. Um, I want to pray against that. I want, like we we're saying, that when Jesus comes into your life, He can change anything. He can take away all anxiety mm. and fear of your life. And if it's you, I pray right now, Jesus, I pray that you come and encounter this person with anxiety. Take away any anxiety, your perfect love that casts out all the fear. We pray that a, a supernatural encounter that would take any anxiety, worriness, and fear away. Um, I pray that all anxiety will be gone for their minds and their thoughts will be in an alignment with, the, with Jesus' mind and the, the mind of Christ. And I pray that anxiety be gone. I command it to be gone in Jesus' name. And peace will come and fill your mind and your heart in Jesus' name. Amen. We pray for the nose of hell be healed in Jesus' name. Touch Jane and set her free from mm -hmm. alcoholism in Jesus' name. Touch Clad to heal the cancer. Uh, heal her from the cancer of the tongue of Marilyn. Visit them, Lord Jesus. We pray for Anita, who is pregnant, and uh, the doctor found cancer in the body. Oh, Lord, as she's writing, she needs a miracle. We pray and we believe for this miracle. Anita, in the name of Jesus, we pray break the power of cancer we break this curse and we set you free and we release the power of god over you and you're gonna have a wonderful joyful pregnancy with healthy baby, and you will be healed in jesus name receive your healing right now in jesus name touch crystal set her free from the spine trouble visit Daniel from this high blood pressure touch all these precious people in Jesus name Amen if God touch you we want to hear what God has done for you please write us to healing-ministries.org but also if you still need prayer we have a prayer line people can uh, they will uh, have a personal meeting with you through zoom so be sure just go to the prayer line uh, it will appear on this on the screen or you can go to the website healing-ministries.org also like i said in the beginning i want to send you for free a weekly hope inspiration for free so just go to my website jeanlucetraxel.org isa we arrive at the end do you have a final world full of hope for those who are watching us tonight i just really felt like my friend that got healed uh, it was such an inspiration to us to see that don't give up on hope don't give up on faith if you haven't seen your full healing yet today 
don't stop believing god can heal in, in any moment in your life still tonight tomorrow he's still good and he heals people so i just want to uh, just break off any lie that god doesn't want to heal you and pray that jesus wants everyone to experience his love through healing and i pray that you will not lose hope and faith in your journey Amen. Fully agree with what you said. Thanks so much, Isa, for sharing hope and this wonderful message. If you missed the, the, the first part, be sure to go to the YouTube and to be part of that. Uh, tonight, uh, again, Isa, thanks so much. You disappear for the screen, but thanks so much for being part of this uh, live you. stream. Greetings to your husband, and I would love to encourage all the viewers tonight to do a special offering. Uh, thanks for those who support us, who help us to do this ministry, not only on, online, but we're now going back to, to the face-to-face -face meeting. We've rented some auditorium, even stadium. So we are grateful for your partnership. But tonight, I want to do a special offering for Isa and her ministry. So if you have been touched, I would love that you be generous. Everything that you will give tonight, we'll send it directly to Isa and to her ministry. So thank Thanks so much for your generosity and don't miss the other meetings that will come oh it's our joy and thanks to you so i wish you uh, friends a wonderful night a wonderful week may the lord bless you abundantly and see you very soon and don't forget there is hope in god You are the only help we know. You are the only.